When recovering from an injury or a medical condition, there is no better place to do so than your own home. And here to tell us what Home Rehab Express can do for you or a loved one is Joanne Ellis with Home Rehab Express and Dr. Dean Ratcliffe with ID Specialist of Southwest Florida. Good morning. Welcome Good morning. back to both of you. So uh, remind people, Joanne, before we're, we're going to talk about MRSA this morning, which I think comes up a lot of times in the news. Yeah. I think we think we know a lot about mm -hmm. it. So I'm interested to hear from you uh, about this, doctor. But Joanne, remind people what Home Rehab Express is. Sure. Home Rehab Express, we are a home health company that we specialize in nursing and physical therapy services. Mm -hmm. uh, we also do IV infusion, like in Dr. Radcliffe's case. And uh, we come right to your home. So nice that this is available yeah. here in Southwest Florida. Easy. All right, doctor. So tell Tell us about MRSA. What do you think that uh, the general public really needs to know about MRSA that maybe they, you know, again, we hear about it a lot in the news, but I don't know if we really understand what it is. Well, when people hear MRSA, they think, what is that, a word? It's, uh -huh. actually, it's an, actually an acronym. It stands for methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. I see why we call it MRSA. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good name. It's like in the military, we yeah. got lots of uh, uh -huh. uh, conjoined words. So, it's, methicillin is an antibiotic that was used back in the 50s, or actually in the early 60s, it was developed because staph had developed resistance to penicillin, but within a couple years, this staph bacteria developed resistance to, MRSA, to uh, methicillin. So the mm. term was coined methicillin resistant. So the name is kind of stuck, even though we don't use methicillin anymore. There's another antibiotic that's kind of replaced it called oxacillin. So sometimes it's referred to as oxacillin resistant staph aureus. Okay. But it's a very serious infection. And it generally it causes skin to soft tissue infections, pneumonia, device infections. It's easily transmissible between people in hospitals. And, and so, that's where you generally hear about is in hospitals, right. but you were saying now it's a community kind of more recently, maybe in locker rooms or right. sports teams. Teams. Right. So over the decades, it was associated with hospitals, long-term care facilities, and dialysis centers. But about 10 to 15 years ago, a new strain was found because young, healthy people who had not even been in the hospital were diagnosed with these serious staph MRSA infections. So they identified a new strain, had new genetic uh, mm -hmm. chromosomes, which showed that it was a new strain, more aggressive, younger people. We're, we're almost out of time, but is it easily treated? I mean, is this something that... Well... Yeah, there are a number of oral antibiotics okay. uh, that are used, uh, Bactrim, doxycycline, Cipro, clindamycin, mm -hmm. and then if it's a moderate to severe infection, treat with intravenous antibiotics like vancomycin or adaptomycin. All right. But I think the biggest thing to remember with MRSA is transmission. That's where most of the questions come. It's important if your loved one has come home from the hospital with MRSA that you make sure they wash their hands well, that you clean the household with disinfectants or dilute bleach solution to prevent transmission. If they have an open wound, keep it covered. Yeah. All right. Well, doctor, thank you so much again for You're being welcome. here. Joanne, again, I love meeting all the different doctors that you work with. I know you Thanks, love your Heather. job. If one, someone wants to find out more about uh, his office or Home Rehab Express, what would you have them do? I'd have them contact uh, our office, 239-541-5354, mm -hmm. or our website, homerehabexpress.com. Easy enough. Thank you both so much.